Hi, remember me? I'm Bernie the Saint Bernard. And I was perfectly happy as a regular angel. But then, I was called for a special assignment. Did things ever change then? When Mr. Goodfellow said that I would come to Earth as a Saint Bernard dog to help Daniel and Jennifer, I thought to myself, I can't handle this. Well, I didn't much like the assignment. But once I got here, I was surprised to find out that I was no ordinary Saint Bernard. I looked funny and my voice had changed so I sounded even funnier. Me, 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 me. But that was the way it was meant to be. And only Daniel and Jennifer are able to see me as I really am. Everyone else sees only a regular Saint Bernard. I'll never forget when I first met Daniel and Jennifer. <coughs> Daniel fell down and broke his arm, but we got through that just fine. Whoop. Dr. Burgess put on a cast, and I even signed it in my own special way. Whoop. And so, through God's love, my special assignment became a very special friendship. And we all discovered one of the Bible's most important truths. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Or you could say, with God's help, you can handle anything. Bye, kids. Bye. Don't forget your lunch money, son. And remember to walk Bernie when you get home. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Bernie. Bye, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. We're late. See you later. I'll see you sooner than you think. From what I see ahead for today, looks like I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> well, guess I'd better get some rest. Looks like I'm going to need it. Bye, Daniel. I'm sorry I kept you waiting this morning. I'm sorry that you kept me waiting this morning, too. See you later. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Danny, my man. Come here. I have got a special deal for you. I'm in a hurry, Ben. I don't want to be late for class. We've got five minutes. It won't take that long. Okay, so what's the deal? You like this radio? 
Yeah, I like it. I've been wanting one, but I haven't saved enough money for it yet. Well, it just so happens that today is your lucky day. How much money have you got on you? A dollar and a half, but that's my lunch money. See, I told you it was your lucky day. You can have this radio for just a buck fifty, batteries included. That sounds too good to be true. But it is true, Danny. Better hurry up and make up your mind. There are plenty of other guys who would just jump at the chance. All right, I'll take it. Bernie! Bernie! Where is that dog? Oh, there he is. Bernie! Bye, Bernie. I'm off to class. Well, I'm gone, you're in charge of the house. In case I'm not back when Daniel and Jennifer get home, you're in charge of them, too. Here, Bernie. I've got something for you for being such a great watchdog. Bye now. Be a good doggy. Dog biscuits. I would have rather had pizza. Pepperoni with double cheese. Now that would be a real treat. Oh well. Dog biscuits are better than nothing. Hmm. Maybe I should invent pizza flavored dog biscuits. What an ingenious idea. Boy, <laughs> being a genius is hard work. And besides, there's nothing better than an afternoon snack followed by an afternoon nap. <laughs> Hey, Daniel, how come you weren't at lunch today? I guess I wasn't hungry. You must be sick. We had hamburgers. I don't want to hear about it. Please, talk about something else, anything else. Did you hear the big news? It isn't about food, is it? No, it's about Ben Woods. Kevin heard him talking to some guys in the bathroom. He said he stole a bunch of stuff from Martin's toy store and sold every bit to idiots here at school. Kevin said Ben pulled $50 out of his pocket and asked him to join his business. Some business, huh? Can you imagine $50? Wow. Hey, Daniel, you okay? No, Billy, I'm not okay. I happen to be one of those idiots. Hey, Ben, I've changed my mind. You can sell this radio to some other idiot. Oh, come on, Danny. There's nothing wrong with the radio, is there? No, there's nothing wrong with it, but I don't want one that's stolen. Now, where'd you hear that, Danny? It doesn't matter, Ben. Just stop calling me Danny. My name's Daniel. Now, tell the truth. Did you steal it? It just so happens that I got two radios for my birthday. I only needed one, so I gave you the deal of a lifetime. I don't believe you, Ben. Oh, come on, Danny. There's nothing wrong with the radio. You know you want it. Besides, I'm not going to take the radio back anyway. We made a deal fair and square. I don't think it was so fair. I don't care what you think, Danny. A deal's a deal. I should have listened to my dad. He said if it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. Hi, Daniel. Sorry I'm late. That's OK. Today's just not my day anyway. But I had a good reason for being late. I got sent to the office today for talking in class. I was late because Miss Hill made me wait so she could send a note home to Mom and Dad. Is that your stomach I hear growling? I guess it is. Come on, let's go home. Maybe Bernie can help both of us. You want him to growl out with your stomach? Hi, Jennifer. Daniel. Guess what I did today? You mean besides taking a nap? <sighs> I invented a product that will help revolutionize the dog food industry all over the world. Pizza flavored dog biscuits. <laughs> I was um, hoping you'd help me whip up a batch, maybe 50 or so, just so I could test them out. Maybe later, Bernie. Right now I need your help. I'm in serious trouble. I'm in serious trouble too, Bernie. I know all about your troubles but a long face won't help solve anything. 
Have either of you heard the saying that honesty is the best policy? Of course we've heard it. But that has nothing to do with how upset Mom and Dad are going to be when they see this note from Mrs. Hill. To be honest, Bernie, I'd be better off if I told them that Miss Hill just doesn't like me, and she keeps picking on me. Well, your mother left me in charge, so I say let's go for a walk. Okay, Bernie, tell me how being honest will keep Mom and Dad from being upset with me. It won't. You behave badly, and now you have to take the consequences. But think how your Mom and Dad would feel if you gave them the note and then lied about it. They know that Mrs. Hill wouldn't pick on you, so they'd know you weren't telling the truth. Then they'd really be upset. Proverbs says that the Lord hates a lying tongue. So does your mom and dad. And so do I. Ben Woods lied to me today, and I can tell you it really makes me mad. Somebody should tell him that honesty is the best policy. <laughs> ben needs to be told more than that. Like thou shalt not steal. But for now, Daniel, your staying mad at him is not the way to help him. How do you think Jennifer would feel if your mom and dad read the note from Mrs. Hill and then stayed mad at her forever? I'd feel rotten. Besides, Mom and Dad wouldn't do that. They love me. Just like we're supposed to love our fellow man, right? I still can't help but be mad, Bernie. Well, <clears throat> maybe some window shopping will make us all feel a little better. Bernie, sometimes you make no sense at all. I don't know how window shopping is going to help us. Time you've done this, but now I got you. Okay, Your go tell him. You wouldn't do anything when I called her about the first time you did this. But come on. Now I'm going to have to call the police. Mr. Holt, may I talk to you? Not now, Daniel. I've got a little thief on my hands. It's about the little thief. I mean, Ben. Don't worry. Bernie and Jennifer will watch him while we talk. Bernie's a good watchdog. Okay, Daniel. Daniel, what do you know about that little thief? Well. I know that he sold me this radio for my lunch money this morning, and when I found out it was stolen, I got really mad at Ben, and then he even lied about stealing it, and that got me even madder. I paid for it, but it's not mine to keep. You know, Daniel, most kids who went without lunch wouldn't be as honest about this as you. Because of your honesty, you deserve this radio here. Wow, thanks, Mr. Holt. Boy, honesty really is the best policy, isn't it? Yes, it is, Daniel. It's too bad that our friend Ben over there doesn't know it. Well, I've got an idea that might help Ben, if you'd agree to it. I'll listen. Uh, you know, I really don't want to call the police, but I don't know what else to do. What if Ben agreed to pay you back for the stolen toys by sweeping your storeroom every afternoon and going to church on Sunday? After all, being mad at a person is not the way to help them. That's a good idea, Daniel. But I don't know if I could trust him in my store. You could check his pockets before he leaves every day. Hmm. Do you really think he'd do cleaning and go to church on Sunday? I don't know. But it'd sure be better than having a police record. I'll ask him and see what he says. Hey, Benny, my man. I've got a special deal for you. So, anything exciting happened to you kids today? Remember what we learned today, Jennifer? Honesty is the best policy. I'm sorry that I behaved badly in school today. I didn't mean to. I was talking and I... I was talking and I couldn't stop. Mom, Dad, today we also learned that being mad at someone is not the way to help them. Jennifer, do you know what's in this note? Yes. A special invitation to a PTA dinner. <laughs> Oh, no. I think I just lost my appetite. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm really pretty good at this stuff. Rawr, rawr. Jennifer's happy, Daniel's happy, and although he doesn't know it yet, Ben's life changed for the better today. Yeah, everything worked out great except for one thing, my pizza-flavored dog biscuits. Rawr. 
Oh well, guess I'll have to sleep on that one. from Bernie Venture number eight, The Diners Club. Are you sure divorce is the only answer? What are we going to do? I don't know, but we better pretend like we didn't hear anything, okay? I think that my parents might be getting a divorce. Your mom and dad are getting a divorce because you're such a jerk. No, I'm not. The Diners Club. What is going on here? Whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And your brother's a jerk too!